Thanks for staying with us. Uh, like I did say, we're talking to Wimbis, or uh, we're talking about Wimbis rather, and Wimbis is gearing up for its 23rd annual conference on November 7 and 8th with the theme, Dream, Dare, Do. A rallying call for women to rise above challenges, take both risks, and make their visions a reality. With over 23 years of empowering women in leadership, business, and public service, Wimbis has impacted more than 330,000 women globally. This year's hybrid conference promises engaging keynotes, workshops, and panel discussions designed to equip women with the tools and networks to succeed. Uh, today on the show with me are uh, two ladies, lovely ladies, I might add, Orelua Atimo, 2024 CPG Delegates Engagement Subcommittee Chair. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. We also have Benita Adelore, member 2024 Conference Planning Group. Welcome to the program. Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, when, when we returned to democracy, it's about 25 years now. Wimbis is 23 years, so almost as old as our new democracy, let me call it, because this is not the first time we saw democracy. Uh, let's get to know about when Wimbis was still trying to take baby steps to this point, how much you have uh, grown. Okay, so absolutely, um, Wimbis is 23 years, mm -hmm. so when you say it's uh, close to our democracy, See, you're right about that. Uh, it was founded by 13 women. 13, we have 13 founding trustees. Basically, when they founded Wimbis, they had the mindset of bridging the gaps uh, which we see in the society with women in leadership positions, basically. So it's all about empowering and elevating the status and influence of women. Um, over the years, we have made significant pro progress. Wimbis, we are rooted in Africa, but we have a global network and we aspire to be global and connect all women around the world. We have made uh, progress in policies. We have partnered with a lot of other um, non-profit organizations as well. We have been able to, you know, basically encourage government institutions to for the inclusion of women in decision-making positions and leadership positions. We have different uh, conferences and annual conferences, we have round tables, we have different ways of networking, reaching even those who are at different, let's say, levels in life. So from the little ones who are in maybe secondary school, we have the big sister programs, and then we have the bigger ones that connect to more, let's say, more advanced women as you go. Um, as you go. Yeah, I, I don't know how you would um, place the achievements of Wimby's over this uh, 23 years. Would you say you're satisfied with whatever you've achieved so far? So I, I'm not sure satisfaction is an end point. I think it's a moving target and we aim to keep getting better. Have we made good progress? Yes. Have we made landslide? Have we achieved some um, let's say significant landmark achievements? Yes. But are we there yet? No. And why do I say so? There's still a lot of gaps to be bridged in terms of well, I say women and how the society generally views women in institutions, in public service, uh, in business generally. So I would say that it's a work in progress. But yes, we are making good progress. Um, we're, we're progressing good. Anita, do you have a comment for that? Um, yeah, I, I do actually. Um, we might not um, have moved from one to hundred, mm. right? But I will say that we have moved from uh, one to maybe 40. If you look at, especially the financial sector, the number of CEOs that we have there now that are females, compared to what they were maybe 10, 20 years back, right? Even in politics, we see more women coming forward. Um, even in, you know, other private, you know, sector like manufacturing and all of that. Look at Capri, look at Leventis, for example. The, the, the group MDs are, are women. Very true. Yeah. I'm the first female general manager of Leventis Motors. Mm -hmm. So we're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Yeah, uh, I just have connection with uh, Leventis Motors. It's <laughs> 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 our car now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Now um, uh, it's it's good, but let's just let's just have an insight to what role you think Wimby's played uh, in making these women become more aware, more. Uh, strategically placed and all that. Let's let's just get to hear uh, a summary of what you think 
the role of Wimbis was in getting there. Okay, uh, since you are an example of how women are moving up, mm -hmm. how did it impact you and then made you become what you are? Okay, I would say, uh, I'll use myself as a personal example. Yes. Um, uh, years, years back, I had this huge imposter syndrome, right? So no matter uh, what the achievements have been or the results that I've seen, I always feel maybe it's just mere luck and all of that until I joined with this. Mm. Yes, I have fantastic mentors along the line that have supported my career, but joining Wimbis opened my eyes to see that, you know, even in the face of, um, you know, having family, work and all of that, you are enough. You mm. can achieve those things. Mm. It gave me the tools that I needed to, you know, uh, uh, go on uh, 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 on a day-to-day -day basis, believing in myself, uh, having the confidence that I could do it, taking the uh, opportunities that I have in front of me. So each year, Wimby's, you know, bring together close to about 2,000, 3,000 women in one room and equip them with tools that will help them in their personal life, in their professional life, in their businesses, and even for those in public services. So at the end of the, the conference, you come out, you know, feeling good with yourself, knowing that the next steps that you, the next steps you're taking, you you kind of have a direction of where you're going because you have been given that wings to fly. So that's that. When this helps you, you know, like you know, when they say, oh, we, um, makeup enhances beauty. So you have the potentials, but maybe you don't know you have those potentials, or you don't even know how to go about those uh, those potentials. But by the time you join Wimbis, Wimbis opens your eyes and equips you with the necessary tools for you to identify those potentials and take actions uh, and take advantage of opportunities that you have along the line. Yeah, so what are these boxes that a woman needs to tick before you can become a Wimbis member? <laughs> uh, I, I it's a question that should have come in. Come a lot of people will be thinking, okay, if Wimbis can open my eyes this much, mm -hmm. I need to be a part of it. How do you become a part of it? So honestly, there are absolutely no boxes. Um, even though people may have that perception, I can say boldly today, there are absolutely no boxes. We are open to all females, whether you are in the corporate line, or you are in the or you are having the business, or you are even doing nothing, or you are in the public sector. So it's open to everyone. If you want to join Wimbiz, it's very easy. You can start by going to our website, www.wimbiz.org. There's a lot of information there on how to register. It's a simple form you fill and someone from Wimbiz will get in touch with you. It's that simple, right? You can also connect with us on our social media platforms as well. You can meet a current Wimbiz <coughs> associate member who can also take you through on how to register. So we, do, we are not segregating. There's none of that. You're it's, not segregating no. for women, just women. Yes, yes. women. Segregation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. okay. So, so, so. <laughs> Part of our founding members are actually a man. Part okay. of our founding members actually. There's a man as part of our founding members. Okay, I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's zero it down to okay. um, the Wimbis conference this uh, this year. Mm -hmm. um, like I, I, I'm just calling it the 3D. Uh, yeah. 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 That you are having, you you dream, you dare, and then you do. I like let's, that. Let, really. Yeah, let's just first start. Tell us more about this conference coming up in 2024. So, this year, 2024 conference promises to be absolutely different. Okay, like you rightly said, our theme for this year is dream, dare, do. Mm -hmm. And why have we chosen this theme? You know, before we come up with the theme, there's a lot of deliberation and a lot of sessions, right? So that we're sure that we're giving, we're hitting. Will I say our women are the right pain points? Mm -hmm. Right now, particularly, we live in uncertainties. And with the kind of economic challenges that we are facing, we do understand that there's a need to fire up the women again and let them know that in, in times like this, absolutely in times like this, is the perfect time for you to start dreaming, to start daring, and to start doing. Mm -hmm. So this is what it will be. What, do, what will you, we expect? It's on the 7th and the 8th of November at a co-hotel where we typically do it. We're going to have this year five plenary sessions. First, we have you know our keynote speaker, which is the former past president uh, of this federal, federal Republic of Nigeria. 
We will have five plenary sessions. You have to call that name. Professor Yemi Oshibajo. S O S O S O N G C O N. So, um, and then we're going to have, of course, starting from our chairperson, uh, Professor Fola Shade, um, who is yeah. also Ogunshola, who is also a distinguished uh, academic, right? Then we will have five plenary sessions. These plenary sessions are going to cut across different areas or cadres of our lives. Whether you're looking at taking your business global, whether you're looking at managing things emotionally, all of that, there's a session for you, right? Then we will have breakout sessions of hands-on workshops. We have chosen very, uh, very distinguished leaders to anchor these sessions. So they are basically workshop sessions. You'll have that. And of course, we will have our debate, right? We always have the annual debate. We're going to have a fantastic debate this year. And again, we'll have the after party. So I, I think this summarizes the different things that you can expect. And it's going to be physical and, of course, virtual as well for those who can't be physically there. Yeah, she just said it's going to be different. I don't know how WIMBY's conferences have always been in the past <laughs> that makes this one different. So what are these marked differences that were not there? Because whatever she has mentioned could have been in, in other years uh, WIMBY's. So what are these differences? How has it always been in previous years? Okay, um, WIMBY's conferences each year we try to, you know, um, do out outstanding things mm. um, different from what we've done before. This particular year, going by you know the current economic situation and all of that, if you feel the pulse of people around, you will know that there's a bit of this, you know, like people are lost kind of mm -hmm. that feeling of hopelessness and all of that. In an administration of renewed hope, anyway. <laughs> so like there's that. that thing in the air. What we're trying to do here is there's always opportunities in crisis. Mm. Open your mind and your eyes to dreams. What are your visions? What do you need to bring these visions to life? Mm. Right? Yeah. So this is this is the main or the core of the, the conference to bring out because in each and every one of us there's something there that we have not you know, maybe we've not taken the time to look inwards. But by the time you come in for this conference, the tools that you need to look inwards and bring your dreams to life will be shared with you. And, you know, just like she, she rightly said, our keynote speaker has also dreamed dead and did. Mm -hmm. He was a professor. He was not a politician. But he got to be there, right? So we have people lined up that have, you know, done things, outstanding things, that will also share their, 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 uh, the parts that they told and you know the the challenges that they faced and how they, they were able mm -hmm. to overcome these challenges think, yes. so this this are the you know core aspects of the conference mm. um the the session the different workshops that is the purpose okay. that is the purpose to equip people you know um, um to give them these necessary tools then the after parties where you know after I just wanted to add that um, part of the feedback we've gotten over the years is um, some women struggle with networking. Mm -hmm. So this we're going to do differently this year. We're going to try and color code the different attendees to their industries, to their sectors. So this allows you to already identify yourself with another woman at the conference and it's easier to walk up to the person and say, hey, you have the same color code as me. We're both in, I don't know, the creative industry, for instance. We're both in the transportation industry. Okay. We're both in the finance sector and it allows for easy, you know, um, interaction. I think another thing is also the business pitch that we're going to do uh, dif different this year and give people the opportunities to also, you know, get some grants for, for their business. Because it's one thing to inspire, it's another thing to enable. Some people are inspired but are just not enabled. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't even have the minimum financial, will I say, uh, uh, abilities to even kick off something. So beyond inspiring, empowering, uh, we also want to empower financial uh, empowerment. That would be something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's nice. Um, let's let's talk about what the target is. You, you know, we talked about the fact that um, maybe. The pioneer member was a man <laughs> as well. <laughs> I, said, I don't want to talk about that. But who are you really targeting uh, at this conference? You know, in terms of de gender, in terms of age, 
um, in terms of maybe uh, profession or anything, do you have specific target audience that you want to reach? Every woman, every woman, whether in Nigeria or outside of Nigeria, have the opportunity to attend this conference. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, if we go, okay, students, we have something like the Big Sister mm -hmm. uh, program that we have for them. So, but we have also encouraged people to sponsor students. So you have undergraduates in the university who may not be able to afford um, to, to pay for the conference. So we have told ourselves and the public, if you have such uh, female mentees in the university, you can pay for them to, to come for the conference. Or they can join online as well, which is minimal fees. So starting from that level up until you know, uh, uh, maybe you're even a retired uh, uh, female uh, expert or businesswoman. So whether you are in business, whether you are in politics, whether you are in private sector, there's something for you to learn from this conference. Mm. There's something that to take home with from this conference because the sections have also been planned in such a way that every um, every sector or every every area. Uh, is covered. So whether you're in politics, you're, you're in business, um, you're in private sector, you have the opportunity to, to take something home with you uh, if you register for this conference. Yeah, she just talked about paying for someone. It scares a lot of people when you talk about registration and to see that you're going to attend a conference where you have the CEOs of this world and the chairman of, uh, uh, of, uh, of big companies, you will be scared. So let's walk us through the process of registering and how affordable or otherwise it is. Okay. So we started with the early bird, right? Um, the early bird means you get a, you register at a discounted price. So that was 80,000 80, naira for the early bird. Um, and then after that ends, you now have the normal registration, which is 120,000 naira. But if you're an associate member, that means you pay your annual dues and you're up to date with payments, it's 100,000 Naira, right? So this is it. And of course, there's also the virtual, if you want to join virtually. It's very easy to register. Let me walk you through. You basically go to the website of the annual conference, www.winbizannualconference, you know, uh, dot com, and you click on register. You register, you put in your details, there's a payment portal, you pay, you get a, a confirmation from uh, the WinBase team. It's as simple as that. And then we begin to give you, send you information to prepare you uh, and, you know, all the things you need to do to get ready for, for the conference. Okay, so it's good to know. Well, okay, and men can attend. Yes, yes, men yes. Can attend the yes, we're not shutting our doors to men. Men, men who want to support dress uh, men. 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 Yes, men dressed as men, yes, I think they can attend. Okay, very yes. good, very good. Okay, it's unfortunate, like I said, there was a, the, we had 25 minutes, but it's, it's over already. But oh. let me just take your final words, you know, to the people you're expecting and whoever you want to talk to, both of you. Let me begin with you, Benita. Okay. Um, I would say that I'm a fantastic example of what uh, Wimbis can do for one. A uh, couple of years back, I wouldn't even be able to stand and speak here. But the uh, Wimbis has given me the boldness, the confidence, the ability to take opportunities when I see them and not to step back because of fear or imposter syndrome. So you are also given that opportunity today. Step in and, you know, get the necessary changes that you need in your life. Yeah. So let your vision come to life. Step Thank in you. and step up. Yes. Yeah, I think that's good. <laughs> so from I like that. Uh, no, I mean, uh, Benita said it all. If I'm to add to that, it's uh, basically this year's conference, we have carefully selected every person that will be holding the microphone. Um, we are aware and we are very, we are on ground and we understand what is going on. So we're not picking people who are just aloof and I'm able to connect or understand the realities. That's the word I'm looking for, connect and understand the realities. So the people who are coming for each session, each workshop, they are people who understand the realities and are able to connect your dreaming with your doing and your doing. What we have today is a mix of people who dream but are unable to do and do. 
you, you know, we have people who do but haven't dreamt even bigger to do even more, right? So I would say that this conference is a perfect um, opportunity to sort of reset. It's happening at the perfect time towards the end of the year. You need to start planning for your 2025. What your 2025 will look like, you need to start from now. So it's, it's strategically placed at this time of the year so that you can also begin to uh, plan, plan for, you know, what your bigger 2025 will look like. Um, okay. So. Uh, well, uh, this conference is happening in November, uh, 7th and 8th of November, and we do hope that you are going to be a part of it. Wendy's gives you the tools to climb higher than you could ever dream of. Have you ever watched 2D? Have you ever watched uh, analog? Have you ever watched 3D? Uh, that's what it gives you, 3Ds. You dream, you dare, and then you do, because it's never complete until the circle is complete. I'd like to say thank you to Benita Adelore, member 2024 Conference Planning Group for this WIMBIS conference. Thank you so much for being a part of our program today. Thank you. We also have had uh, Orelua or Atimo, our 2024 CPG Delegates Engagement Subcommittee Chair. Thank you. It's been a pleasure having thank you. you. All right. Okay, uh, fortunately, this is where we wrap it up on the show this morning. It's been a pleasure being with you this morning. I'm hoping that we will rejoin tomorrow or we'll reunite tomorrow uh, for the breakfast. Until then, my name is Nyamgul Agaji. Bye for now. <laughs>